And now, the latest around the wide world of tropics. Truck weather bulletin for August 13th. Well, here we are on day 225 of the year, and we have four systems active, whether they're alive or dead. Hurricane Linda in the eastern Pacific and post-tropical cyclone Kevin, as well as tropical depression Fred just north of Cuba, and tropical storm 16W, which continues its path westward, threatening Guam as a weak tropical storm soon in the next five days. It's day 74 of Atlantic hurricane season. Fred is barely hanging on there after crossing the mountains of Hispaniola. However, it is expected to restrengthen back to a tropical storm as it threatens Cuba and Florida in the coming days. 95L is also about to form soon enough as well. It's 90 of Eastern Pacific hurricane season. Linda remains a Category 1 hurricane, expected to intensify a little bit more in the coming day or so and Kevin has become a post-tropical cyclone several hours ago and it is likely that it dissipates a, a day or so as well. It's still a, a sweet 16 for 16W as it continues to go on without a name. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center not expecting a name for at least three more days. However, it is expected that it does pass pretty close to Guam, but of course the tropical storm wind field is expected to be pretty small and the wind's pretty weak as well. Nothing going on in the North Indian Ocean at the moment, however there is still that Southwestern Indian Ocean AOI, still at 20%, and really there's not much uh, in terms of confidence, in terms of development with that. We will see what happens, if anything this is probably going to be short lived, nothing worth really noting about. And the Atlantic, uh, not much going on besides the FRED and 95L at the moment, FRED of course uh, trying to regain that convection again in 95L which is doing pretty good organizing could become tropical storm within the next two or three days at this point before it proceeds to go towards the same path Fred did. And in the Eastern Pacific we're looking at those two storms there. Well, Linda is still a Category 1 and all convection is practically gone with Kevin and you can hardly see it on the map anymore except for that very naked swirl uh, to the west of Baja there. In the Western Pacific we got the map a little bit closer back to where we normally have it and you can see 16W there way to the east there, entering the screen at this point. Um, it is maintaining convection relatively well, still a 40 mile an hour tropical storm like it's been fluctuating between 35 and 40 miles an hour the last few days. We will continue to monitor the situation of course, uh, especially for Guam as that is in the cone now. In the North Indian Ocean, we're not looking at anything going on here, uh, just your average monsoonal activity as to be expected for this time of year. And of course, nothing is expected in the next few weeks, really, as long as we continue to see this monsoonal pattern continuing for this time of year. Here is the imagery on Fred. Uh, you can see how it is basically trying to regain that convection after getting crushed by those mountainous terrains of Hispaniola. Of course, it is expected to resurface to around 50 miles an hour or so before it makes landfall in Florida Sunday night into Monday morning. So, trends are now in place for that one. Sea surface temperatures are currently at 30 degrees towards the Mexican coastlines. They decrease as you head further into the eastern Pacific Bays and around 28 to 29. Uh, some areas are still around 27 degrees Celsius there. Gulf of Mexico is practically almost completely full of 30 degrees Celsius isotherms now. Caribbean starting to join in and otherwise the most of the Atlantic in general in terms of where tropical cyclones typically develop is around 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. Other than that, uh, the subtropics remain at the usual 23 to 24. In the North Indian Ocean, we're still looking at those Bay of Bengal waters around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, although the Gulf of Oman continues to be the warmest out of those before you completely cool off as you head eastwards. And then as we get into the Philippine Sea, those are starting to return with 30 degrees Celsius as well as the South China Sea. Other than that, the basin remains around 28 to 29. And where that AOI is to trying to get itself together, it's around 26 to 27 degrees Celsius in that region. So not exactly the most, it's marginally conducive, but not really that conducive overall. Here are the sea surface temperatures anomal in terms of the anomalies. Uh, sea of Japan slowly cooling from its extreme uh, anomalies there where it was about 8 degrees above average. Otherwise, the Atlantic is practically warmer above average almost everywhere at this point and the eastern pacific is starting to see a little bit more spots that are cooler than average. On this day in 2004, an extremely notable storm was making landfall in Florida. Hurricane Charlie was making a category 4 landfall 
uh, one of the four hurricane landfalls that we saw, Charlie, Jean, Ivan, as well as Francis, uh, those all made landfall in Florida that year. We also had 4L and 5L, both would become Danielle and Earl respectively. Of course, you can find more of our On This Day products, powered by Cyclone History. Their Twitter is at the tag below on the bottom bar of your screen. Well, here we are. The next name of the Atlantic is now Grace, followed by Henri. In the Eastern Pacific, it is now Marty, followed by Nora. And in the Central Pacific, those 167 knot SFMRs that were found by technical difficulties from recon going into Fred right now, or more likely than the chance that we see Hone in the next five days. In the Western Pacific, it is Omaze, followed by Kansan. And in the North Indian Ocean, we are still looking out for Gulab and Shaheen, the next two names that we probably won't be seeing for quite some time here. Moving on over to the Southern Hemisphere, the next name in the Southwestern Indian Ocean is now Anna, followed by Batsire. In the Australian region, it's Paddy. And in the South Pacific, it is Cody. Another Tropical Weather Bulletin will be coming tomorrow night.